What is up YouTube? How are you people? Welcome to Hoodie Obsessed. My name is Kevin Gannis and today I'm going to give you guys a full tour on every single hoodie that I have in my closet. Is it a full tour? Does that make sense? I'm going to show you guys every single hoodie that I own right now. It's a big pile over here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll show you guys my whole collection. So without further ado, let's begin the video. I'm gonna have this video into like three separate categories. I'm gonna have the thick hoodies, the thin hoodies, then I'm gonna have the luxury hoodies. Those are the ones that are a little bit more expensive. Yeah, let's get on with it. <laughs> so this hoodie is an American Eagle. I really like the black with the white stripe going straight down the middle. I think this is an awesome hoodie. Definitely love because it has the white drawstring. Usually brands will put like just plain color in here, like black to match the rest of the black. I'm happy that they got the white to match the middle. Freaking awesome. And the stripe goes all the way through, as you guys can see here. I got this hoodie for $15.99 at the American Eagle outlet. And uh, yeah, I wore the sweater a lot. This hoodie is from Express. I got this hoodie for a trip going to Las Vegas. I wanted to have like a fresh outfit when I went to the poker room and stuff like that. All my sweaters at the time, all my clothing had like stains on them. They smelled. So I wanted a fresh new outfit and I got this sweater, which I never had a button up hoodie like this. I thought it was freaking awesome. I love the design. I love the colors. I love the back. Everything about this hoodie is freaking awesome. And I won a lot of money with this hoodie. You could say it's lucky. This is the first camo that I'm showing you guys. You guys are gonna see that I like camo hoodies pretty soon. Uh, I saw this hoodie in Orlando at the premium outlets and I couldn't leave it. As you guys could tell by the channel name, Hoodie Obsessed. When I seen this hoodie, I fell in love instantly. I love the camouflage pattern, the camouflage on the hood, on the sleeves. I freaking love it. And a friend of mine told me that when you see this Adidas logo, this is like the more premium version of Adidas. The three stripes is like the more cheaper baseline one. This one's like on the more expensive side. I could be wrong. That's just what I've been told. But yeah, freaking love this hoodie. It's so comfortable. I wear it a lot. Prior to 2021, I never owned anything by Levi. Never had a pair of jeans, a shoe, a t-shirt, nothing like that, right? I was thinking about it and I said, you know what? That needs to change. And what's the first item I get from Levi's? Obviously, I get this hoodie. <laughs> found this hoodie at Burlington Coat Factory for $11.99 and I had to have it because I'm like on a mission to have like one of every color hoodie possible right now obviously you're not gonna get every single color but like if I get a majority of the popular colors I should be doing good this one is like an olive green army green I like it it's comfortable and uh, it was cheap I get a phone call from some family and friends that they're going to this thing called the football what was it called the NFL experience. There you go. So they said, Kevin, get ready. In two days, we're going. We already got you a ticket. You could throw a football. You could see all the teams. You get autographs and stuff like that. So I went to the mall and I found this. And it definitely looks like a football team thing going on. It looks like a thing. It definitely looks more like the, uh, I keep, see I'm bad with sports. What's the name of that team? The basketball team. Uh, the Golden Gate Warriors, is that what it's called? It definitely looks more like of a basketball team thing, but I wore it for the NFL experience and it's one of my favorites. It's, I love the colors of it. I love the sleeves. I love the feeling of it. Everything's cool about this. The back has a nice graphic on it. Nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy, simple. I like it. By the way, if you guys see any of these sweaters that you want like a full review treatment of, let me know in the comments below. And if I see any one sweater that's like outstanding and request, I'll probably make a video of it. So make sure you leave a comment below and also tell me which one was your favorite throughout this whole video. And while you're there, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Story time again. I haven't fit into Hollister since I was 17 years old. After I turned 17 years old, I started gaining a lot of weight. I stopped exercising. Just Hollister was like off the radar for me. A couple months ago, I'm with my cousin at the mall. He goes into the Hollister store and I'm with him. We're looking around, we're browsing around. I know I can't fit in anything. So I'm not even like really looking around that serious. He goes and he buys a sweater and I get super jealous on him. <laughs> so that night I go home and I go on Hollister.com to see maybe they have my size online because I wear a double XL 
Every hollow store I've ever been to never has double XL in stores. Long and behold, on the website, I find two sweaters. So this is the first one I found, which I think is freaking awesome. I'm, I'm loving these like simple, just very minimalist design hoodies with just a simple logo on them. And this one is freaking awesome. You see, what I love about this hoodie is just it's white and it's got a black outline for your logo. And that's it. There's nothing else on this hoodie. This hoodie is freaking awesome. And I love because the drawstring says Hollister on it. Could you see that? Freaking awesome. I love it. Every time I wear this sweater and I look in the mirror, I feel like young again. I'm, I'm very old. I'll be 30 in November. So wearing this makes me feel like I'm in my 20s. Even though I was never in my 20s when I was wearing this. You guys get what I mean, right? <laughs> and this is the complete opposite of that hoodie. This is what I would call the opposite of minimalism. This hoodie has branding all over it. It's got a huge bird on it. it has the huge Hollister California text on the front. It's got Hollister branding on the sleeve. The back doesn't have nothing, which is very surprising, but the front is very loud with their branding and the drawstring has nothing on it. It's just a regular drawstring. So I love this hoodie. I wear this hoodie a lot. Uh, I don't like it as much as the plain white one, but again, when I wear this and I like look in the mirror and see that I'm wearing Hollister, it makes me feel young again. So if there's ever a hoodie in your closet that makes you feel good when you wear it, wear it a lot. Advice from me, wear it a lot. <laughs> this hoodie is one of my favorites. This is a Dragon Ball Z hoodie, or you could call it Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Super. It doesn't really matter too much, but it's got the goku turtle logo on the front the kame turtle and it's got the king kai logo on the back this is the logo he gets for training with king kai uh freaking awesome i did a full review of this hoodie if you guys want to check out that video make sure you click the link in the description or i think the card will be over here click over there somewhere for the full review if you like dragon ball z i give you my word you're gonna love that review i got a lot of like uh cut scenes in there and like Dragon Ball related stuff. You're not gonna want to miss it. Love this hoodie. I got this hoodie from Marshalls and I found it on the sale rack for $14.99 I think it was. I don't think you could beat Nike's comfort for the prices that Nike sells, especially when you get it even cheaper than the Nike stores. But yeah, it's just a plain white hoodie. It's got the Nike logo on the front. When you're wearing your Air Force Ones and this with a nice pair of jeans, pretty good so this hoodie this is a freaking awesome hoodie that i bought in woodbridge mall new jersey uh same place i bought the dragon ball z hoodie this is a star wars hoodie and i bought this a little while before the second star wars came out of the third tr trilogy so i forgot what it's called what was it called i forget the name nobody really cares about the new star wars movies but you get what i'm saying i bought this sweater during that time and this sweater is freaking awesome especially the back of the sweater the back of the sweater has bb8 on it <laughs> how much more awesome can you get than that i went with my uncles and cousins to star wars world in disneyland in orlando what an awesome experience it was i got to wear this there and it was a blast I can't wait to go back. I went before they opened up the Millennium Falcon. So hopefully I get to wear this and a Star Wars t-shirt and go on the Millennium Falcon. That'll be awesome. I made a vlog of me wearing this sweater, fighting one of my friends, close friend of mine. And uh, I'll play you guys a clip. It's over, Squirtle. I got the high ground. You underestimate my power. I think I'm gonna do a full review of this soon. Make sure you subscribe just in case I do make that review, so you don't miss it. Come on, Star Wars. How could you not like Star Wars? This is another hoodie from Express, and it's just a red hoodie, but it's got some black lining on it. There's no drawstring or anything like that. It's just a regular red hoodie. It's got a kangaroo pocket in front that goes all the way through, and it's just got this sweet black trim around it, and I really like that. It's got this small Express logo on the side. It's just a sweet hoodie. I don't wear it too much because the red and black can only go with so many things, but it's pretty cool. I like the sleeve. The sleeve has like a grippiness to it and it's got 
Express NYC on there. Very good hoodie. I found this one at Burlington for $8.99. Couldn't let it go. This hoodie is also from Express. This is a, I think this is called the Heather design. I'm not sure, but it's got a solid dark blue on the middle and it's got like a heathery design on the sleeves and the hood. I like this hoodie. It shrank really bad in the washing machine. I don't know if I didn't wash it right or if it's just the material itself that is prone to shrinking, but I don't wear it too much. I probably had to lose like 10 pounds before this fits me again, but uh, I don't know. I like it. I just wish it still fit me. <laughs> Hopefully one day I lose like 25 pounds and this will be baggy on me. This hoodie, it's from American Eagle. Uh, I don't know why I bought this. It must have been on sale or something. This is definitely one of my older hoodies that I have, but the material is very soft. It's very comfortable. This color is very unique. Not a lot of sweaters I see in this color. It's like a off white gray creamish color. I don't know if it's coming up on camera too well, but I like it. It's a very good hoodie if you ask me. It's very comfortable and it's got these weird like what do you call those? Pouch zip ups. It's pretty unique, pretty cool. I like it. Not much else to say about it. Another hoodie of mine that is camouflage is this Express one. Excuse the stains. I don't know how to get these stains out. I might have to take it to a dry cleaner, but stains aside, it's got this four block pattern of different colors. So these are white. This is like a grayish color. And then the pocket is camouflage as well as the sleeves and the whole back of the hoodie. How awesome is that? Now I had some reward points from Express and I used those reward points to claim this sweater. This is an XXL big and tall section sweater. So it's definitely longer than any other sweater I have in my closet, which is weird cause I'm six foot four. I didn't think this would have been that long for me. So I guess this sweater is made for like basketball players or like seven foot tall people six foot eight six foot nine maybe but i like it i wear it from time to time this is another american eagle sweater i got this one from burlington for 4.99 i couldn't let it go for that price alone that's not including the fact that i don't have any color sweater like this in my closet so once i seen this i knew i was gonna grab it it's got the american eagle text on the sleeve and it's just an overall awesome sweater Nothing fancy about it, nothing crazy about it. It's just got these white pinstripes going along the sleeve with the lettering. Nothing to say about the sweater really, except that I love the color. This is the only sweater I have in my closet that is this color, nothing comes close. So have to have it. This is an Adidas hoodie that I got for my birthday. My mother-in-law sent me a few hundred bucks on my birthday and told me to go buy whatever I want. So I went to the Adidas store. I bought some hats, I bought some shoes. I bought some beanies, I bought some t-shirts, and I got this hoodie. I don't know if you guys can see from far away, but what I love about this hoodie is that when you go close to it, you could see that there's like patterns inside of the branding of the logo. And that is a freaking awesome touch. Let me tell you something. I wish more hoodie companies did that because that is freaking legit. I love that about this hoodie. And the rest of the hoodie is freaking awesome too. It's got like this weird material that feels awesome. I never seen this material on any other hoodie, especially any hoodie that I own. Besides the material and the logo, everything else is pretty much standard. It's got your standard drawstrings and it's pretty much it, nothing on the back. But I just really love this hoodie. I love white and black hoodies. Freaking awesome. I love, you guys have no idea how awesome this looks in person. This right here is another Express hoodie that shrank on me a lot. Uh, I don't wear this one too much anymore, but when I first got this hoodie, I wear the shit out of it. I love the colors of this hoodie. I love, I love the cuff. I don't know what this is called. I'm confused, but I love the colors of it. I love the drawstring color that matches the bottom and the sleeves. It's just too bad that the sweater shrank so much in the washing machine. There must be like a better tutorial on YouTube on how to wash your clothes. Maybe I'm not doing it right, but definitely need to find that tutorial. This is another awesome American Eagle sweater. It's red. It's got a black upper and lower base. The middle is grayed out. The black is the same color as the top and bottom, but it's their AE logo. The back of the hoodie 
is all black with the top of it being red. And then on the hood itself says American Eagle. Freaking awesome. I love this hoodie so much. See, I love when hoodies have like two tones going on or three tones, but not nothing crazy, no like overdone, make you dizzy, make you wanna barf. I like this color a lot. The color of this sweater is freaking awesome. And the fact that the drawstrings match the little logo over here, the symbol, freaking awesome. The only thing that could have made this sweater better is if that this logo was like bigger, right? Like some of their new clothes that they make at Express, that would have been perfect. But it's still good the way it is. I love this color. I wish I could have found more like these. I also got this one on the clearance rack. I paid $12.99 for this one. And I just really like it. The only problem with this sweater is, see this part over here? This part like grabs onto your back and pulls down like really aggressively. And I don't know why. I can't wear the sweater for more than like two hours because it starts to hurt afterwards which is a shame because I really like the colors and everything with this hoodie. I believe this is the final camouflage hoodie that I have. This is the first Adidas camouflage hoodie that I ever bought. This sweater is so freaking awesome. It's like a desert camo and I freaking love it. You guys have no idea how lucky this sweater was for me. I can't even explain it to you guys. Every time I wear this sweater, my outcome of my day was like freaking awesome so this sweater has a lot of memories tied to it and guys look at that how would you not like that like the only reason you wouldn't like this if you just don't like these colors but come on guys that's a freaking awesome hoodie the back is plain nothing really on the back it's just the hood and the sleeves with the camo and then this front is just like this beige cream color freaking awesome excellent job adidas see i got this one and i got the blue camo there's a black camo that i could never find adidas if you're watching this hook me up with a black camo i take a double xl <laughs> this nike hoodie is a hoodie that lena got me for my birthday she got me this with the matching sweatpants and this hoodie's freaking awesome it's definitely one of my most comfortable hoodies that i have in my closet everything i have from nike is super comfortable so when you're wearing this with the matching sweatpants and your little Air Force One shoes, uh, yeah, definitely a nice match. It's very comfortable. It's a well-known brand. Everybody loves Nike. And it's just got a simple white Nike logo on the front. I mean, can't really ask for much more than that. Off to the thin section of hoodies now. And Lacosta, if you guys don't have a thin Lacosta hoodie, Lacoste, I don't know how to pronounce it. Lacoste, if you don't have one of these alligator hoodies, you're missing out. This hoodie is so comfortable and it's so thin. You could wear it like anytime, anywhere, it doesn't matter. The fact that you could wear this even when it's hot outside and it won't feel like any kind of extra clothing on you from how thin it is, is freaking awesome. I have a bunch of these you guys are gonna see in a little bit, but yeah. These ones run for about, I think $79.99. They have them at Macy's if you're interested. Highly recommend. I love Lacoste hoodies. This is my second Lacoste hoodie that I had to steal from my wife because she like claimed this has her own. She hides this from me for months and months and months. I'm not allowed to wear it. I'm not allowed to see it. She wears it like 80% of the time when we're home. She literally just washed it and I had to steal it from her. <laughs> this is pretty much same as the white one I showed you guys earlier. All the drawstrings I'm missing from them, I don't know why. I don't know if she did that or if it's happening in the washing machine, but whatever the case, I don't have drawstrings for any of these. But I love this color. This color's freaking awesome. And I got this one actually cheaper. I got this one from the Lacoste outlet. I think I gave 25 bucks on this one. So I like it. Same thing with the other Lacoste. Thin, light, comfortable, could wear it with anything. It's a good sweater. Another thin hoodie of mine is this polo hoodie now i've been looking for a polo hoodie with a huge horse on there without anything else like i'll see some that's got like weird colored graphics on the sleeves or something like that this is gonna have to do until i find one with a bigger horse on there with nothing else on it uh my cousin actually bought me this i did him a favor something that he couldn't figure out how to do on the computer i did it for him he said hey it's your birthday coming up in a few days right 
I'm sending you some money for helping me buy something on me. So he technically bought me the sweater. Thanks, James. Very comfortable. The only problem with the sweater is it doesn't have a pocket on the front. Like, why make a hoodie without a pocket? Other than that, it's a pretty good hoodie. Comfortable. I like it. Polo. So I completely forgot to do a regular recording for this hoodie. So I'm just doing a voiceover. This is just a black solid hoodie I got from Express. I had some credit. My credit was going to expire. So I ordered this one and it came in the mail in a few days. And it's just a plain black hoodie. I got this Puma hoodie at the Puma outlet. I gave like $9 on it, $9.99. I never had a Puma hoodie before, so I really wanted it. I like because it's got a button up for the front. There's like no drawstring or nothing like that. The hood is very flimsy. I wouldn't buy this for the hood itself, but it's pretty cool. What I like about this, and this is like my unofficial workout hoodie, is that you could tie the bottom to your waist. You could like pull the drawstrings and make it tight around your waist. So that way, if you're working out, if you're running, if you're exercising and you're jumping and you're moving up and down, your stomach won't show <laughs> because this has got a grip around your waist. Freaking awesome feature. I wish a lot more hoodies of mine had that because I use that a lot while I'm working out. This is a Burberry hoodie. I don't know if you guys can see that. Quick story. One of my cousins come in town with their husband to come to a party and I see her husband come off the airplane with a sweater like this and my jaw dropped. I said, Mark, where did you get that? <laughs> He was just laughing at me. He told me at the Burberry store, I said, how much? I need to go get one. He said he gave $350 on it. So the problem with Burberry is giving the $350 on a sweater is ridiculous as it is, right? I was willing to do it. The problem with Burberry is they run a little small. So I had to get a triple XL. Took me, I want to say three and a half years to finally find one in my size that wasn't sold out everywhere. This hoodie's freaking awesome. It's got a double zipper. It's got the zipper over here, and it's got the zipper on the bottom in case you want to leave the bottom open, but you want it still zipped up. It's got that option. I never use that, but it's got the option if you like it. I gave a lot of money on this hoodie, and no regrets. One of my favorite hoodies, if not my favorite. I think this is the best $338 I ever gave. I think that's how much I gave. I'm not sure. Burberry. <laughs> Another expensive hoodie that I have in my closet is this Hugo Boss hoodie. My mom and dad got me this for Christmas. Uh, I got a lot of hoodies on Christmas morning, so I guess everybody picked up on the fact that I love hoodies. This Hugo Boss, I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better Christmas present from them. The lettering is freaking awesome. I love this hoodie a lot. This is the hoodie that I choose to wear. Whenever I'm going somewhere with my family and friends and it's uh, a little bit more of like a dressy situation and it's not like short pants and t-shirts, for the most part, I'm throwing this on because nobody will look at this and say, oh my God, what is he wearing? It's like Hugo Boss. Like everybody loves Hugo Boss out of my family. So this hoodie's freaking awesome. One of my favorite luxury hoodies that I own. This right here. This right here is my most expensive hoodie that I have in my closet. My wife got me this for Christmas. She won't tell me how much she gave on it, but when I Googled online, they range anywhere from like 500 to like $1,000, depending on color and size. I have no idea how much she gave on this sweater but this sweater is freaking awesome. I have a lot of items from this brand, mostly like shoes and belts and bracelets, a wallet. Never even knew they made hoodies. So when I got this hoodie for Christmas, it's freaking awesome. I don't know if any of you guys know the brand Ferragamo, but this is their logo and their logo is freaking awesome in this hood. When I got this bag on Christmas, right? And I went to go put my hand inside. I was expecting a shoebox or something. The last thing on my mind was a freaking hoodie. I did a full review of this hoodie on my YouTube channel because it deserves a full review. If you guys want to check that out, it's going to be a link in the description or somewhere over here. This hoodie, if you want to call it a hoodie, this has like no hood to it. It like ends like really short. So I use this to like cover my mouth to look like a ninja kind of thing going on. 
there's like nothing really special about this hoodie. It's just a solid color. It's got your typical drawstrings in the front, but it like goes over your mount and neck and like you could zip it up. You could pull on the drawstrings to make it tight so it could like not fall. And I use this a lot for like poker tournaments and stuff like that to like hide your breeding, to hide like your expression. So like people don't know if you got something good or bad. I don't remember if I bought this knowing it had that. I think I bought this by accident. I think I picked up the wrong one and I didn't know it wasn't a hood, but I definitely used it. It's funny that this one doesn't really have a hood on it. So we're having like an outside church barbecue and I'm getting ready to go there. I don't got any clothes. All my clothes shrank, dirty, ugly, smelly. Didn't want to wear anything. So I went to Macy's and I found this. So this is a linen shirt with a hoodie on there. <laughs> a linen shirt with a hoodie on there. Do you see where the username comes from yet? Are you following along? <laughs> this last hoodie, I'm like kind of embarrassed. I don't even want to show it to you guys, but since I'm making this video, I might as well. This hoodie is my first ever merch hoodie. This is like the merch for my vlogging channel. So it's got my logo on the front, a small version of the logo on the front. And then on the back, it's got this huge logo. I love this sweater just because it's like an awesome project that I got to do. I never had merch before. I never had anything custom made before. This was like one of my first things I ever did custom. And I freaking love it. But the size of this sweater, it fits me, but like, could you guys see that? <laughs> you see how big the sleeve is, like from the armpit area to the top of the shoulder? It is way too big, even though it's a double XL. So I guess the next time I make merch, I'm not supposed to get this exact sweater. I'm gonna try a different sweater next time. If I ever make merch again, this was like a fun thing I did when I hit 500 subscribers. If you guys stuck around this long, I figured I'll just throw this in the end for you guys. My kids went to my grandmother's house. So their great grandmother's house. They went there and my grandmother said, here, give this to your father because it's been here for like five years. And she gave them this. This is not mine. <laughs> not mine that I remember anyways. It's a double XL, it's my size, but I don't really watch football. I watch football like during the Super Bowl. And most of the time I'm just there to watch the commercials. I don't remember ever getting a sweater like this, but apparently this is mine, so. I'm gonna ask around my uncles and cousins and family if they remember this, if this is theirs, but if nobody claims it, this is a new hoodie to add to my collection. A New England Patriots. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like. It took me a long freaking time. Right now, the clock on the screen is at 42 minutes. Just showing you guys these hoodies plus the other hour that I had of me actually trying them on. So a lot of effort went into this video. If you guys could like it, it would be highly appreciated. And subscribe if you don't wanna miss another hoodie video. My name is Kevin Gannitz and this is Hoodie Obsessed. Peace out, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, God bless.